Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me again. And we've got another, oh dear, oh dear, we've got another battle damage video here. So, um, I was off gaming again tonight. Um, a second game against my friend's militia force and the Iron Hands took to the field on my uh, side this time. And um, the game went well, but uh, unfortunately two things got broken. The first was uh, this chap, uh, the uh, the Nuncio Vox Bearer of the Mark III Marine Squad, uh, and then the Mark III Tech Marine. Um, the head came off his axe with a remarkable ease. So yeah, we have a bit of repair work to do. I'm not doing him now. Um, that's, uh, I'm going to leave him for now, but let's have a go at the, um, let's have a look at this guy um, this Mark III Marine's axe. So I guess this is a little bit of a repair video, but also a little bit of a watch out if you own this miniature, because um, this was actually very, very fragile, and it um, I just literally picked this model up to move it. It was hopping in a Land Raider at the time, and without putting any great force on the head of this axe, it just came away. So yeah, if you do own this model, um, yeah, watch out for that one. Anyway. It is how it is, so let's look to try remedy that. So, uh, okay. And I wonder there actually, looks like we might have a bit of an air bubble um, in the axe and just above the point of the bradle. And I wonder if that could be a, weak, a slight weakness uh, which could have contributed towards the, um, the break occurring. Anyway, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore out the axe hilt to insert a wire pin. Um, going straight for the final bore of, with the drill here. See uh, the axe handle is thick enough. Yeah, looks like that's arms come a bit loose as well. Um, now I'm going to drill down to about here because beyond that, where you've got this cabling, um, cabling, it's the drill bit is going to go through that. So I don't want to go all the way there. It actually, looks like the um, pins come stuck. So there you go. Well. You can see the original pin I put in, that's coming loose. So it's actually, a, isn't a bad thing for it to break. So it will make this repair that bit uh, easier to execute. So if we can get the focus back. Hmm, the focus doesn't want to play at the moment. Come on, technology. Yeah, welcome back. Right, sorry about that pause. Right, let us continue. So, um, so I'm going to drill this out, and then I'm going to do a similar thing um, on the axe head as well, and then put a nice long pin through it. Um, to fix and uh, hopefully ensure there's no repeat of this in the future. Anyway, so while I'm doing this, uh, let me um, let me give you another micro battle report about uh, tonight's game. So, um, so what was the setup? So it was a small game. We were playing um, Horus Heresy: Age of Darkness. Uh, it was a one thousand point battle. It was a narrative objective, um, and the objective was for the navigator, who's part of my marine force, to enter a building to um, search for an artifact. So uh, we didn't play with normal objectives. And, and this is a nice thing to do in 40k, is, is not always to constrain yourself with um, the standard style of objective play. You know, there's, there's loads of, you know, your imagination is a limit for creative ideas for game objective so yeah don't always just play for your victory points etc you know there are other game types 
and indeed that's what we did here. So, um, so my force, I had, I think I had just shy of 30 tactical marines split into two squads, a centurion with a bolt gun and Nova equipment, the expeditionary navigator, uh, a tech marine, a servo automata, um, a two tactical support squads with five men each. The first was armed with rotor cannons and the second was armed with Volkite Calivers. And finally, I had my Land Raider Armoured Proteus equipped with three uh, twin-linked last cannons. The militia had a, Lehman, a standard Lehman Russ, um, 20, two 10-man two ten man sets of um, missile launcher teams. So that's 20 missile launchers. Uh, and a spattering of inducted levy and the like. So, um, so my opponent um, set up first and took the first turn, uh, and I deployed heavily on one flank. Now I I had to I deployed my troops to stay well away from all of his missile launch fire because of course they would uh, crack missiles would take my marines apart in no time whatsoever. Uh, of course, that meant I um, I exposed my land raider somewhat on the first uh, first turn's fire, and uh, it copped all the crack missiles. And he threw very well. And in the first volley, the land raider um, lost three out of its four hull points. So, uh, and that was including a hit from the Lehman Russell's battle cannon. So. Straight from the word go, it was looking very dodgy for the Iron Hands. Um, and I thought I'd probably lost it straight away because, you know, as soon as, um, as, soon as that Land Raider was gone, uh, I had no realistic way of dealing with his um, Lehman Russ. Anyway, things improved uh, on the second turn. The Tech Marine managed to board the Land Raider. Um, and my rotor, by the second turn, my rotor cannons and Volkite Clivers had moved into position and were able to fire step from stationary. Uh, and their fire wiped out <coughs> the entirety um, of one of his 20 uh, 10 man missile teams, so dual missile team squads. Uh, and that really evened things up. And and then the tactical squad with the Centurion and the Navigator moved up uh, and completely wiped out one of his inductor militia squads uh, through a combination of the, the Navigator's unique ability, the Lidless Stare, uh, and a hail of bolt gunfire as well. Um, so yeah, um, then on the other flank, uh, so yeah, I took control on the, uh, well, left flank, uh, and then on the right flank, the... Um, my other squad of tactical marines um, fought it out with um, his levy um, and eventually uh, managed to secure the flank, although they did take, <coughs> excuse me, they did take, um, ooh, how many casualties? Six in the process, so they did take, lose a few, um, but victorious overall. So yeah, very interesting game. Um, the Space Marines were um, very strong against the militia. <coughs> and um, playing against such low quality troops, you actually feel how potent Space Marine troops can be. When you fight Marine versus Marine, of course, everybody is of uh, equally high quality and you kind of lose track of just how good the Marines are. But when you put them against a feudal levy, where I took six casualties, my you know my opponent took um, <coughs> excuse me my coughs back again. Um, my opponent took perhaps um, more than ten times that number. But yeah, good game. I think it's going to develop into uh, a little. Uh, I think I'm going to develop that into a little campaign. Okay, so this is just about done now. Um, board, board the um, 
axe head out and the axe haft just needs to be cut down a little there we go yep so I just need sticking in place yeah quick little demo uh, of how to bore out an axe handle uh, to do repair cool thanks for watching hope you enjoyed a little baffle update um, I'll speak to you later and goodbye.